All right, guys, welcome to another battle vid. This time between the Xiaomi 11T Pro and the Galaxy S21 Ultra. Let's jump in. All right, we have another new device from Xiaomi. This time it is the 11T Pro. And what's cool about this device is, first of all, you should hit the subscribe button and notification icon so we can find out more about devices like this. Okay, I know, sorry about that, but I had to. Anyway, the 11T Pro is the latest from Xiaomi and this packs in a lot of cool features, which is why we're gonna compare it with the S21 Ultra. Device-wise, you look at it, it's got the silver back, it's a fingerprint magnet. Seriously, it's a huge magnet there for that, uh, which of course differs from the, the black. S21 Ultra, but it has a couple of cool features. First off, it's a 108 megapixel camera on the rear. You also have a 2X zoom and you have an ultra wide lens, uh, which we'll take a look at the cameras in a second. Uh, in terms of specs though, you've got a 5,000 milliamp battery. The display is 6.67 inches with 120 hertz refresh rate, similar to what you have on the, on the Galaxy S21 Ultra. Uh, and uh, you've got a front facing camera that shoots at 1080p. We'll talk about that later. But some similarities to boot with both devices. Both devices uh, run the Snapdragon 888 processor, which is nice. And both of them have high counts of uh, RAM, but the uh, Xiaomi has eight gigs of RAM max, while the Galaxy S20 Ultra can go to 16 gigabytes of RAM. So that's all nice and dandy, but what makes them unique and different at the same time? Now, they both have stereo speakers, and the funny thing is that the Xiaomi Tao Tamon Card and Sound, which is also owned by AKG, which is owned by Samsung, so they do have, I would say, similar speaker systems, but let's take a quick listen. Honestly, they both sound great and you've got Dolby Atmos on both devices, so that's actually pretty good. Now, let's get to the cameras. As I mentioned, 108 megapixel camera sensors. This is something Samsung has pushed for a long time and we've seen other devices have this. And the Xiaomi 11T Pro has 108 megapixel camera. But let's take a look at what that means in terms of picture quality, videos, and all that fun stuff. Okay, so we're looking at both devices and using the front-facing camera with the Galaxy S21 Ultra on my left, that would be 4K60. With the Xiaomi 11T Pro, that is 1080p60, so there's a clear difference. You can see how the sky looks, uh, the highlights, all that fun stuff. So there you go, now let's check out the rear camera. So both rear cameras record at 4K60. You get the idea for both. And we're just going to cross the street. So as we can see, the Xiaomi does uh, an interesting job with the front facing camera. 1080 60 is max recording resolution while it's 4K 60 for the Galaxy. Now both rear cameras record at 4K 60 so that, that's nice and I think the Galaxy still has the edge here. When it comes to images, I like both but I think the Galaxy does a much better job in terms of highlights and clippings in certain areas. And in low light photography, I also give the edge to the Galaxy as well. Now, when it comes to 8K recording, which they both can do, the Galaxy does a terrible job. It's 8K 24 frames per second, cropped in, very shaky, as opposed to 8K 30, which isn't cropped in on the Xiaomi 11T Pro. So at least 8K recording, it does a good job there. Now, you guys know I love gaming, and gaming is something that's really important for me, and especially for devices at this price point. As I mentioned earlier, they both run Snapdragon 888 processors, and the gaming performance is very, very similar. So it's not something I need to spend too much time on there, uh, especially when you're playing games like PUBG or Call of Duty Mobile, you will get the same kind of results. Uh, but the cool thing is that the Xiaomi device, uh, the 11T Pro, also comes with a game center, allows you to see your frames per second and do much more with your gaming experience as opposed to the Galaxy where you just have a collection of all your games. So that is very unique and different and also allows you to, you know, just enjoy more of your game performance as a gamer. 
Now, when you get both devices, they do come in different size uh, uh, packaging. Now, the Galaxy packaging is very thin, it's small, because it doesn't come with a charger. While the Xiaomi packaging is much thicker traditional size, and it comes with a, not just a charger, a 120 watt charger. Yes, 120 watts. What that simply means is that you can charge your device from zero to 100 in roughly 18 minutes. That's insane. I mean, I don't even have to show or test it because it comes with a charger. So Xiaomi wins that quite well. And also they tell some really cool features that you can charge from zero, within 10 minutes, you can go from zero to 72% with a charge. So which means you don't have to fully charge your device and with reduced heating. If you guys wanna see a charge test, let me know and I'll do that in another video. But that is truly impressive and that definitely sets the Xiaomi uh, device apart from what the Galaxy brings to the table. Now when it comes to uh, battery life, this, I haven't spent too much time to compare, but I think again, it is kind of similar, 5,000 milliamp batteries on each one, but you do have the advantage of faster charging on the Xiaomi device. I think overall, you look at both devices, there's a lot to bring to the table. The Galaxy still wins, especially when it comes to the camera. Xiaomi has brought a lot to the table, but again, this device is cheaper. Coming in around roughly $900 or about 649 pounds, uh, this is a cheaper offering to get from the Galaxy, which is still at it at $999, like $100 less or so. So that's something to take note. I think overall, the two solid devices with very unique feature sets uh, that a lot of people will like. And of course, the 120 watt charging, that's pretty awesome. So if you like anything you see, or you wanted to find out more about the Xiaomi 11T Pro, let me know. Otherwise guys, don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and always enjoy your entertainment.